All right, now you're also going to be giving us a science experiment demonstration. Yes, so this morning we are making our own volcanoes. So this is a kit from our weather intern here from Derek that he gave me and he got for Christmas. So I made one out of plaster out of the molding kit and painted it for you, Charles. Thank and you. And what we have in, <laughs> you're welcome. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> and what we have in your container here is citric acid in here and then sodium bicarbonate or which is just baking soda here in this container that I already scooped into your volcano for you. Okay. And over to my station here, I made one out of construction paper and a small plastic bottle that I got. So this kind of what we're having here is making your own volcano. And what I'm gonna put in mine right now is that I have dish soap in this container in baking soda that I'm gonna pour into my, vol my volcano in just a second here. So this is, re what we're gonna see is a reaction that kind of produces mm -hmm. some CO2 here in just a moment. So let me scoop this into the volcano and we we'll, should see a reaction here start to take place once we pour some water into yours and some vinegar into mine. Do we wait? Do so I wait? Let's wait so okay. we can do it together to see if this react, see if the reaction take place here. So I'm hoping it works, the I have enough in here and mm -hmm. enough vinegar and food coloring to make this one work with a longer bottle. Okay. So let's give it a go. I, again, I have some red vinegar, some vinegar in here and then some red food coloring and you have water in yours. Water, okay. Yes. Now I'm gonna so, pour it in there. So we're gonna pour it in there slowly and we should see a reaction start to take place. Uh, maybe not so much on mine, oh, but, but you're seeing yours, right? It's starting to fizz. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, yep. starting to fizz. There we go. Yeah, bubbling. so bubbling a little bit here and there. So let me try to pour some more vinegar into mine and see that really start to take form here. Ooh. I don't want to pour too much water. <laughs> I want to make a whole bunch. There we go. There went a little bit on mine there. So oh, there we go. It, now it's fizzing. Now it's fizzing a little bit here. So sometimes you have to play with science a little bit to mm -hmm. get some of this stuff to form. But you can see some bubbles have formed here and it's starting to come over the side of my volcano and it's really fizzing on Charles's volcano here. So it's just a small little science experiment. And if you want to add a little bit more water or we can scoop a little bit more of some some of our sodium bicarbonate and some more of our vinegar, not vinegar, but some more of our citric acid into there. See if we get a little bit more of reaction to take place. This is fun. I never got to do this in science class. Yeah. We so. had done the <laughs> Mentos and Diet Coke and we made it, we paper mache it into look like a volcano. That yeah. was our version of it, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, you can see it's really coming through now on my volcano and even on Charles's, so. We're getting a big reaction that's taking place. Eruption. With, yes, with that sodium <laughs> bicarbonate and then even that vinegar, the acid wow. that's producing CO2. So you can see, I poured a lot of vinegar into mine if we can kind of get a close up here. It's starting to really just fizz over the top here. It's looking and like a volcano. <laughs> it's really, it is looking like a volcano. And what'd you make that out of, yours? I, I just made it out of construction paper and then a bottle here. So wow. I maybe turn it a little bit. You can see it's really coming off the side here. So just getting that chemical reaction taking place, making the carbon dioxide there. So that's what's going on in a nutshell. But this actually, believe it or not, it really influences our weather here in our atmosphere when we get volcano eruptions, Charles. Mm -hmm. So what really happens is that with volcanic smoke, you get those big explosions with those plume clouds. You're gonna see some water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and even some more acids in our atmosphere like hydrochloric acid and hydrofluoric acid. Those two acids can kind of create con cloud condensation nuclei like I explained in a previous experiment where mm -hmm. water vapors, can, small water vapor molecules can attach to. And what really happens is that that can fall as acid rain into our soil, comp into our soils, into our waterways. I can mess with water quality and soil composition quality. And people who have breathing issues or respiratory issues mm -hmm. might be affected by acid rain. But really oh, okay. the big smoke we're seeing is sulfur dioxide when these volcanoes kind of erupt like that. And then that can actually, in that ash in the atmosphere, that can actually lower our temperatures in at the surface and reflect sunlight in the stratosphere, which is our second highest um, elevation, second 
part of our atmosphere here wow, above well, our weather. Yeah, well thank you for breaking that down for us so we have a better understanding of how that all affects this atmosphere.